Mix 852 Mini Q today with another Game Maker tutorial. I'm in Game Maker 8.1, I believe. Might be 8. Point, or might be 8.0. I switched because Game Maker on Steam was kind of messing, or Game Maker Studio. I don't know if it's a bug for all of them or it was just my problem, but I'd be working on a game and it would just cut out in the middle of it so I'm switching over to this one and uh, so today I got I'm actually trying to be a little bit more organized um, here's the stuff that we're gonna be going over in these game maker tutorials I'm adding I'll add more later I just did this up real fast with some things that people suggested and um, down here that's for when we get to our Java tutorial um, but today we are going to be covering how to change a room um, someone suggested this or someone asked how to have multiple missions or whatever so I'm gonna go over that I'm gonna go some I'm gonna go over on that I'm gonna go more on sprites um, and uh, yeah maybe more on rooms I'll, I'll definitely show you how to make a font and use it in your game for when you draw out text and whatnot but uh, so let's go ahead and get started today. So first, let me just go ahead and show you how to change a room. So basically, I already got a player rigged up for uh, to move, um, and we got this object wall. It doesn't have to be a wall. You can just do the same thing, but put it in a different event. Like I'm gonna use. I'll just go ahead and get into it. Collision with OBJ wall. Go down here to control and go room underscore oops got caps on room underscore let's see what is it show me go to yeah go to room go to and then you type in the room name we're gonna go ahead and go to room one and uh, so there's that so now when we collide with this it'll go to room one and uh, this is not the best way to do it um, the best way is to make your player persistent so you don't have to add them into there but we're gonna go ahead and add persistent um, but uh... so we shouldn't have to add the player to room one let's go ahead and go into okay something's going on here oh yeah that's right i got it down here so here's room one uh... so let's go ahead and go more on to the rooms real fast while i'm doing this um, sorry to skip around you can actually go in here if you go to backgrounds you can change the background color of your room um, and I'm just going to do this to make it more but so that you know that you're actually changing the rooms and uh, let's go ahead and add let's go ahead and open up room zero and add that in there and add our player in there so now let's go ahead and load this up <laughs> Okay, so here's our player. We're going around, and let's go ahead and collide with it. And now we're in this room here. So you can do that and change your uh, levels. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> but uh, so you can do that and change your levels, or you could actually make it to where if he presses space, you can change it. Or you could do like a uh, trigger. You can make a, tr a trigger so that. If he gets a certain amount of kills or whatever, it changes the room. And I'll go over that in the future because that could get a little complicated. But uh, so here's this. So now if we press space. We're in this room. And so on. So it's pretty cool. So that's how you have multiple rooms or levels. Just room go to and then the room name. And then you can also go ahead and go room underscore restart if you wanted to and room I think there's room exit or something like that room add create a room and uh, so just stuff like that so and that's just basically some uh, uh, room changing methods now um, let's see what else so I can go ahead and cross that off how to change a room so let's go ahead and go and let me show you how to make a font so uh, now basically you just go here, font, create font. Let's go ahead and name this um, Tut. And you can change the actual font. Sorry, I just hit my desk with my knee. That hurt. Oh that okay, so um man, that hurt so bad. 
I hit it right on the side. But uh, so let's go ahead and choose <laughs> a font. Impact is good. Let's go ahead and increase the size to 70. Let's make it bold. Make it italic. And you can just change all this and make it as custom as you want. Now let's go ahead and make a draw event for our player. Or actually, I won't do that. I'll create an object. Not a timeline. Let's go ahead and go underscore text. And uh, let's go make a draw event here. Let's go draw underscore text. Um, let's do it at. 120 and 50 and then um, let's see what should we have it say hello world a classic um, so now that we have that now there's different ways you can do this you can actually go down here you can go on here and go to draw on your uh, objects here and you just go down here where it says settings and you can change the font you can change it set the color of it set full screen but you can also do it in text and you can go I think it's set under oops <laughs> set underscore let's see what is it draw underscore set maybe set font and then let's go ahead and go what was it tut and now it'll be our our font that we created but let me show you what it looks like without it real fast Let's go ahead and run it. And I didn't add it to the game. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that. I always forget to do that. There's just something. I don't know. Now let's run our game and see if that works. That, okay, so there we go. So that's what it looks like without our font. And now let's go ahead and run it with our font. Okay, so now it should be bigger and in our font style impact or whatever. There we go. Now that right there, that's text. Hello world. <laughs> okay, so there you go. So now you know how to create a font. Let me go ahead and show you how to set the color of uh, your text. So let's go ahead and go into our object text and go draw set color and I think you can just go blue blue let's see what is it let's see I'll be right back what is it is it oh I remember now I don't use colors a lot see blue and now our text should be blue when we do it, and you can also do this from the draw tab, just like you can set the font, just set the color, and everything. So um, now it should be blue. <coughs> there we go. So now we got our text is blue, and we got our own font. So now I'm gonna. So that's it for that. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and set up for our next part of this video tutorial, whatever. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to save and load your game. Go ahead and go into your object player, and now we want to do it whenever we press space. Keep press space. Oh, we already got that for that. Let's just change that back into collision with the wall. And um, keep press space. We you want to go down here and go ahead and go to main 2 right here save the game and you can save it as whatever I'm just going to go game um, so now when you press space it will save the game and now let's go ahead and go key press enter when you press enter it will load the game now did I capitalize that? no Okay, so um, this is the way to do it without coding it because this is just quicker and um, 
lot simpler now I'll be going in to in the future on how to have multiple saves and how to actually let them name their own saves okay so um so that's how you make their saves did I show you it in action did I I don't think I did let me go ahead and run this okay so um now we got this let's go ahead and move down here let's go into our other room let's go ahead and press space and now it just saved the game now let's go ahead and move up to here and now we press enter and it loads up our game so um, okay so that's it for this episode thanks for watching comment favorite and subscribe for more game maker tutorials sorry it's been a while but uh had some stuff to do and youtube has just been really just terrible for me i don't know about you but it's not letting me see all my comments um, processing is taking forever and just a whole bunch of stuff like that so um don't forget to punch that like button in the face i'll see you guys next time